So John, um, we're here wrapping up uh, APLF for the 30th anniversary uh, edition, and we just wanted to get your impressions on uh, a little bit of, about your experience at the show, as well as the main conversations, the main takeaways that you're going to go away with. Okay, we were um, we were very happy to be here at, at this show, um, and other than the weather. Um, the experience uh, the last few days has been very positive, I think, for the industry. And um, for Prime Asia, um, our main focus is to connect with our supply chain, get the pulse of that supply chain, and also be here to support the effort of Leather Naturally as we try to spread out the, uh, the platform and the foundation of that group. Right, so the importance of Leather Naturally, what uh can you describe what, what that means mm -hmm. for the industry as a whole? Yeah, I, I think that, um, I think that the, the, the main purpose is to try to bend um, the perception curve of leather in the world. And we've been through a, 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 a period of time in the history of leather that has, has been gone from a very positive raw material through a period of time where there was a negative perception about the cleanliness of our industry and the impact on our environment, to now a time where positive change has been made in terms of sustainable and environmentally friendly manufacturing of our product, only to be attacked um, from the outside with many, many unfounded claims about our industry. So the purpose of Leather Naturally is to refocus that perception. Refocus that perception of the consumer back towards a natural product that's versatile, that's beautiful, and that can be made in a responsible way. So it's, it's, uh, it's voice by voice that we'd like to get this done. And we want to start in our communities and then ultimately get to the consumers to, to, to share our message about a about an excellent product um, that can make uh, make finished goods uh, for for now and for a long time to come. And do you feel that there's a collaborative effort within the industry on the whole to be like-minded and kind of sink in the same industry? We, I believe that I believe that the industry as a whole is 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 like-minded in the sense that. Um, they understand, or we as an industry understand, that um, we all need to be responsible global citizens. And I believe that um, we have the opportunity to come together in a single voice, something that our industry has not been able to do in the past. We have not been good um, advocates for what we do as an industry and thus are open to some of these, again, unfounded attacks um, with very little pushback. And so I think that, that uh, Leather Naturally is going to help get that message out. And at the same time, I believe that it will help, it will help unite um, the industry to a, to, a, to a very important common cause. And this is lack of cohesion. What, what do you think has been the root cause of that? Um, I, I, I just believe that we operate in, a, in an extraordinarily challenging environment. And, and not only is the environment challenging for the participants in, a, in our industry, um, but the competition has also been traditionally fierce. And I, I think over time people have looked out, have, have been forced to look out for themselves and sometimes miss the greater picture of, of, um, of looking forward in terms of how are we going to make sure as an industry that we are compliant with the changes in the world. And I really do believe that it is this, this effort and this need to be compliant that will ultimately pull us together. And Prime Asia is a front runner? Or is it we, we, yeah, we would like to believe that we are, uh, we're, uh, um, we're a, a, a front runner or, or, or an outlier, so to speak, um, in, in what we're doing to, to push our sustainability, push our uh, environmental awareness, push our, 
our uh, strategies for efficiencies forward. Um, and I'm sp I spend quite a bit of time being sure that, uh, that I'm transparent about that, um, not only with our customers, but also with our employees, and in the, in the case of Leather Naturally, with the industry itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that, that did occur during the fair was uh, some round table mm -hmm. discussions, and Leather Naturally was a, a big part of that. It was, uh, were these topics brought up, and was that one of the main... Yeah, the the uh, the roundtables um, were uh, were uh, uh, an important event, I think. And uh, and any time you can have industry leadership um, sit at the same table um, to have conversation about our industry, um, I think it's a good thing. In this particular instance, I also think that it was timely because the conversation was not necessarily just focused on leather naturally. The conversation was focused on the industry and 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 some of the what I would suggest are misconceptions. And one of the one of the major misconceptions that was discussed was, um, you know, w why is our industry um, in such dire straits? You know, it's 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 oh woe is our industry. And and what we talked about in our group is that indeed. Um, the industry is not necessarily in dire straits. The industry is facing challenges that need to be addressed. So there is a challenge of raw material in our industry that is not the death of our industry, but it's a challenge that must be overcome. There's a challenge um, that we must face um, in terms of regulation and compliance. It's not necessarily, again, the death of the industry. It's, it's a challenge that needs to be overcome and managed. So these, these kind of conversations about moving forward and raising our game and taking on these challenges as opposed to running from them was, was the real takeaway from, from our particular uh, roundtable discussion, which was, which was very positive and I think very worthwhile. And some of these challenges obviously come back to the supply chain that you, no. that you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, I think that I think that uh, the, the 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 very important point is that there's there's a singular part of the supply chain is not going to not going to adequately address the challenges of the industry, and and the the concept of of doing business throughout your supply chain with like-minded partners. Um, and like-minded suppliers as well as like-minded customers um, is critical in this in, in in this environment, and so that so that's what we talk about. And uh, everyone has us as a stake, and uh, if 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 you're all not pulling in the same direction, there's the the the, the challenges get even larger than they are. And did you come out from these talks uh, with some greater optimism? And um, yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic uh, to begin with. I think that I think that um, I, I, I think that, that, that we're 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 in a better place in terms of awareness of, of uh, where we have been as an industry. Um, and I and my sense is that um, I'm not alone. Uh, and, and I think that there are like-minded um, individuals running just spectacular companies uh, throughout the supply chain in our industry. So I think that I, I believe that, the, that, uh, that um, we will continue to, to move forward and get better uh, in what we do, not only in, in the product that we create through innovation and creation, but also in the manner in which we create it and the, the positive impact that we can have on the communities in which we work. So I, th I, I think I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic about Prime Asian, and I'm optimistic about the, the industry. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your You're time. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you.